the overriding big picture is the study looked at uh, residual inflammatory risk uh, in patients that were enrolled in large uh, lipid lower trials. Typically speaking, studies have looked into three different levels of inflammation. One is folks with high sensitivity C-reactive protein of less than two. The second ones are the folks with high sensitivity C-reactive protein between two and three. And the third ones are the ones with high sensitivity C-reactive protein of greater than three. It turns out that there is a linear relationship between inflammation and cardiovascular endpoints such that the more inflammation you have, the worse the outcomes typically are. And I think that would also explain why patients with inflammatory disorders like rheumatoid arthritis and what have you tend to have higher cardiovascular events compared to those who have less uh, inflammation. So, you know, what is well known is that statins compared to placebos reduce inflammation. That is well established in it. So that's why we looked at two different groups. One is PCSK9 compared to placebos or statin therapy. And PCSK9 inhibitors have absolutely no effect on inflammation whatsoever. The, you know, uh, which uh, which I think is a very interesting finding in this particular study. The second, and, and, and it is important. Uh, RS's point is very crucial because you know, in the general community, uh, the thought process is if you lower the lipids as low as you can, it's all going to be okay. But there is, there is clearly increasing yeah. understanding that lipids bring a lot more to the table in terms of pleiotropic effects, especially anti-inflammatory effect. And PCSK9, there is absolutely no impact on the inflammation. So, so you know, the concept of, oh, I cannot tolerate the lipids, I mean, uh, the statin, so, you know, the higher, higher power PCSK9 are going to be okay. It may not entirely work the way we want it to be, potentially. I think that's an important message that needs to be conveyed and teased, and this data needs to be teased out. What we showed was that despite the contemporary uh, lipid lowering therapy, uh, either in the form of statins uh, or isetamide or PCSK9 inhibition, the inflammation still persists, you know. And so I think the take-home message of this study is that the future studies should look into adding anti-inflammatory therapy on the background of high-intensity lipid-lowering therapy to see if we can mitigate the inflammatory risk uh, on top of uh, lipid -lowering.